And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Hey everyone, Alex back again. Um, I want. I was gonna. I had a few ideas, so you might get um, a, a pump of you know loads of videos coming at you. Um, first things first. I wanted to do a thread. I wanted to kind of kick something off that I don't know if it's been done before in the vinyl community. If it has, I apologize. But um, I wanted to talk about record labels. Normally record labels aren't something that I typically focus too much on, but there are some labels out there that I know people collect no, this, no, you know no matter what's on that label or because they really like the label or they'll collect it because it's their favorite label and even if they don't like everything that's on it it's their favorite label so I wanted to talk about that today because even I have those record labels where everything on that label no matter what it is I will buy it because I know it's going to be worth my while. Um, I have picked out 10 labels, so I'm going to call this a, a gimme 10 pretty much. Uh, 10 labels that never let you down. Let's call it that. Yeah, 10, give me 10 labels that never let you down is what I'm going to call this. Um, if you want to do more, be my guest. You, you do how, you do you, I do me. This is there's no rules, rhyme, or reason to the vinyl community. It is literally just us having some fun. Um, so yeah, let's begin this video. And I'm actually going to start with my favorite record label. Probably shouldn't. I should probably save it till last. But I want to start with it because it is my, my favorite record label. And it is the Philadelphia International label. So of course, you, it's the home of... Lou Rolls. This is Lou Rolls Classics. Basically, has all his, all of his hits on it. Um, particularly the song "You'll Never Find," "You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine," which is my favorite Lou Rolls song. So, of course, the home of Lou Rolls. Um, this is how in in depth I go with the Philadelphia um, International label. I even have singles. This is the MFSBs, because they're on that label. Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes are on that label. So, and of course, you with Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes being on that label, Teddy Pendergrass is also on that label, as are the OJs. Uh, Billy Paul, I believe, was on the label as well. I'm trying to think who else was on the label. Uh, McFadden and Whitehead, of course, they did the song Ain't No Stopping Is Now. That's on the Philadelphia International label. So you can see that it's it's a great label for soul and funk. And it's just, a, you know, it's one of my go-to labels when I'm out looking for something new or something I've just not listened to before. Or if I'm just out and, and I just want to buy something in a record shop out of courtesy because I'm there and... I've never been to the shop before. I will always look for the Philadelphia label. It is my favorite record label. So that's why I had to throw that. That's that's actually what inspired this video because I wanted to talk about that label. But everything that's on there, no matter what it is, I will buy it because I know it, it never lets me down. Everything I have on that label, I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that label. But of course... I've picked, I've picked out nine more, and the other, the next one I want to talk about is Def Jam, of course the home of Public Enemy. Um, Rick Rubin and of course Russell Simmons created the label after meeting each other in a nightclub. No no plan, no rhyme, no reason as to what they were doing. They just put stuff out. Public Enemy was a great one. Uh, LL Cool J is also on Def Jam. This is his bigger and deafer album. Um, 
great album from him. Of course, you've got the Beastie Boys on that label as well. Uh, Orange Juice Jones is on the le- on that label. But uh, well, I I may struggle to think of what's on some labels, but I know for sure that I've never been let down by the Beastie Boy by Def Jam either, because everything that's on Def Jam I like it. Solar. Everything on the Solar label I grab it. So Whispers, um, Shalimar. I grab it uh, no matter what it is on Solar. I know I'm pretty safe. If I wanted to make sure I had it in my collection. Um, so again, very good R&B label Solar. I mean, so popular. It's It's got a radio an internet radio station named after it here in the UK so very happy with that one and of course a label typically I talk about a lot anyway because my favorite artist is on that label it's Motown so of course Stevie Wonder he's on Motown there's so much good stuff on Motown as well everything that's on it I will grab it including um, Marvin Gaye He's on that label. No, he hasn't got a bad album, in my opinion. Lionel Richie, Commodores, all on the Motown label. Man- Mandre on the label. The Supremes, Diana Ro- and Diana Ross are on that label. I think Motown's even still putting out some modern R&B and hip hop as well today. Like Lil Baby's on the label and even this new guy I have down here um, BJ the Chicago kid he's on Motown so yeah what a, a label that's never let me down and even still putting stuff out today so that's always always fantastic um, another label that never lets me down particularly is High Focus a, this is a UK hip-hop label uh, this is the album Natural Order by Four Hours. The only problem I have with High Focus is they always do very limited runs of their vinyl pressings. So everything that they press up has about 500 to 1,000 copies pressed. And that's it once they're gone. Um, they don't press any more until there's a very popular demand to get stuff up. But I like this album because it's produced by DJ Premier. So it kind of shows you the, the crossover there. Yeah, so of course it has to have that and then Ocean Wisdom's another one on the High Focus label this album has a song featuring Method Man I don't have a lot of their stuff because obviously it's all brand new all quite expensive on vinyl but again all very very limited when they do put stuff out I just have my two favorites there but very very nice to um, label that has not had a bad release really Stax is another label um, Isaac Hayes is on there, so this is the Shaft soundtrack, but it's on Stacks again. They never have a. I've not found anything bad on the Stacks label, so anything like soul, funk, R and B along that sort of line. I think mainly, I think it's mainly funk on Stacks, but you know everything that they put out is always good. Even these guys, Booker T and the MGs, they're on Stacks as well. So of course. That kind of gives you a sort of um, hint into what they are. And of course you hardly see any stack stuff around. So yeah, I try and grab it as much as I can. But like I said, I hardly ever see their stuff. Um, we are almost, actually we are actually almost there. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is this label, Sal Soul. In fact, let me show you this one first. Even if I don't like everything on Sal Soul, I will still pick it up. And the reason being is because this is a very, very good label for disco and R&B. Um, you'll typically see a lot of their stuff either on the Cloud label, on white, on double A-side white labels like this. I have some stuff on a black label um but everything so far everything 
on Sal Soul that I've grabbed, I've enjoyed it. That's the main thing. Even um, this R&B band called Sky, they're on there, and they again also don't have a bad album. An album, or, or while all their stuff may not be on Sal Soul, um, it's still a very very good label if you're looking for R&B and disco stuff to grab. Always look for Sal Soul. Very very um, good label. One I'll always buy no matter what. It is, um, just because not only is the stuff that rare, but it's also a very, well, not only is the stuff rare, it's also very, very good. Um, Prelude, another one. Again, you'll typically see that label on Prelude. Um, you might also see some white label stuff. If I've got an example here to show you. I'll, t I'll show you if I can find it. Should have really done this before the video, but I've only just remembered about it. Maybe it's in a, it might be in another pile, but um, typically Prelude stuff, you either see the dance floor label, or you'll see, or I've got like white labels of on this that just say Prelude. Um, but this is um, Sharon Red, great example. Um, Nanette in the heat of the night is a good example of that as well. D Train, probably the most popular guy to come off of that label. Uh, it's all the stuff on Prelude was never really popular because it was um, a label that was very. It's, it's, it's an R and B label, but everything on there was sort of synth based. So people in the soul scene didn't like it because it was synthy and people that were into synth music didn't like it because it was soulful and now this stuff's just coming back in but I've always loved this stuff. Another one uh, I, I know and this label is pretty popular amongst the vinyl community is Blue Note so again a lot of stuff on Blue Note 90% of it I will pick up well everything on Blue Note I will pick up because you know that Blue Note will have something good Never let has never let me down. Anyway, uh, this is just another example of something I have on the Blue Note label. Wayne Shorter, of course, famously from Weather Report, who was not. I don't believe Weather Report on Blue Note, but yeah, there's the there's the Blue Note label there. Very very good stuff. You know it's a. Always good when you find um, Blue Note stuff, but yeah, very, very nice um, to have a copy of that in my collection. Uh, anything Blue Note, like I said, is all good. I've got one more label to talk about and then we're done with this video. And again, it's another um, jazz label, much like Blue Note. Uh, this time around, however, the label in question is uh, CTI. This is Milk Jackson's Sunflower, features Freddie Hubbard, Billy Cobham, and, and Herbie Hancock on this label, all very, very great artists, so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick up anything on, on I see on CTI, particularly um, George, early George Benson stuff, I'll also pick up as well, just because his stuff on CTI is very good. His, you might have an opinion on his Warner Brothers stuff when he was on Warner Brothers, but trust me, his stuff on CTI is very good as well. And of course, famously, Bob James is on CTI as well. So you can't go wrong with, in my opinion, can't go wrong with the the CTI label either. So there are ten labels that never let me down. Um, I want to know what you guys, what 10 labels are that you have. You don't necessarily have to show this many examples. You could just show something from each label. But I want to know what, so you might not even have to do 10. You can just do as many as you want. Um, yeah, these are labels that never let me down. I want to see some of you guys' examples. And, and of course, we can have a discussion going. Um, down in the description below because I think or down in the comments because that's always fun, right? I love talking to everybody. I reply to every comment I get so let's have 
a nice discussion down in the comment section below. And with that said and done, guys, thanks so much for tuning into the channel. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're not already, because we're getting closer and closer to 300 subscribers. Um, and also turn on the bell so you guys never miss an upload. And with that all said and done, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.